What is up, everybody? We are on day six. Boy, do I have a treat for you. Come on, let me take you for a tour. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. What's up everybody, it is Jack. We are out here in Barrington, Illinois, day six. This project has taken a little bit longer than we thought it was gonna take, but the detail work is coming along fantastic. We got this entire berm pretty much graded out. We have a little bit of green dew, which is for kind of doing some final touches and kind of stealing some dirt from areas. We got these steppers coming in from the side yard here. We have all these done up into a certain point here. We just gotta grab some more pieces of slate on the other side of the house that we're gonna continue on this path. Do our steppers by the pond. Everybody back here, trying to work on this get this retaining wall done we're trying to work our way from the back side of the pond all the way out so we're kind of swinging our way around we're at the bio falls at this point so we're going to be doing this retaining wall as soon as that retaining wall is done we're going to take a bunch of that dirt and fill back behind this rock here and kind of get a wing wall in or a cluster of granite back in this area here to kind of break everything up and get a wing wall in there we're going to just kind of feather out everything get everything all done on this side of the pond that way we only have this portion left to do so we're waiting on brian he has the irrigation fittings for the biofalls that's going to be sitting right there so we just got to pop that biofalls in the plumbing is sitting right over there so as soon as he gets here we can hammer away get that in get that sealed up get our frame rock set and then we could rock in this entire side right here and the guys are doing a fantastic job on this patio it pays to have people that know what they're doing on this one because we build ponds but marty and his guys they do hard sleep so thankfully they're coming in here and doing an awesome job on the soldier course button right up against this wall as you guys always see in our videos and this is a little bit different of what we normally do usually we do like a slate top or something like that so it looks awesome what they're doing they're going to finish up to this point here and that way because we still got to get the machine in here and we're going to be causing issues with that patio there's what the machine's in here and everything like that so we don't want to be stepping on anybody's toes but as soon as brian can get here it's going to be all hands on deck we're going to start getting stuff on in the truck it'll be a little bit maybe of a longer day today but hopefully we're going to finish today we just got to fill this pond up and then you guys will be able to see this pond run got here nice little salamander joining the party <laughs> yeah we found him underneath our steppers that we're putting uh just over here so cool little guy you never know what you're gonna find when you lift up a stone so we'll go put him under a new log and his new home yep it's d-day tomorrow this patio is turning out absolutely spectacular the amount of detail work inside this feature is on point it takes time it's not just it's a blink of an eye that we can get this thing done so it's turning out awesome the team i mean we've had how many people have you out here it's been jack myself brian kevin and rob from last week and then marty and his guys from outdoor living scapes so we've and you can't forget Luis. I'm sorry, Luis. I forgot forgot you. Uh, you've been kind of bouncing around and helping everybody out as best as you can, which we appreciate you a lot. But yeah, small amount of things to do tomorrow, but then we are going to be done and finished. And so I cannot wait to show you guys the beauty shots. Hopefully the, the lighting will be absolutely spectacular for you guys and we can show you guys the beauty of this. So like I said earlier, it's only a couple seconds for you guys. Unfortunately, we have to wait a couple hours. We have to wait till almost a full, what would you say? 13 hours until, uh, until we're back here. So unfortunately we got to wait guys, but stay tuned. All right, so starting in this corner right here i know everything is not running right now but i just want to give you guys a quick walkthrough on what we have so this area right here this is our skimmer and in, in, uh, upon this waterfall vault so in this skimmer it's our skimmer 1000 series this holds our four to seven pump that feeds a three inch trunk line going all the way to our two biofalls sitting up top those are two six thousand biofalls that are sunk down in the ground so that four to seven feeds them we have a manifold teeing off with two ball valves feeding those biofalls down there back in here this is our palace waterfall vault so this one holds our two to four pump this feeds four jets inside this pond so we have three sitting over there and then one sitting off in that corner over there. That way we get that push of water back to the skimmer and our pondless vaults. So we have that here. We have our automatic dosing system. We have our ion gen system. And of course we have our fire rock. This thing is going to look awesome. It's going to be 61 and 62 on Friday here in Chicago. So they're definitely going to get a lot of enjoyment out of this this weekend. So we have all this here. We're going to butt all this up tomorrow. We span around. This is our awesome wall that we always like to do. I just
just love how this arch turns out. I, I keep saying it in every part of this video, but I just love when we put these walls in. It looks awesome. We have our stepper sitting over there. We have five pathway lights inside this feature, lighting out this entire pond. And then we have six three watt spotlights. And then we're gonna have one watt spotlight shining on our waterfalls. So that's pretty much a quick rundown tomorrow. We're gonna do a more in depth on what everything is doing and how we attacked everything on this project when everything is up and running. And that way you guys have a better understanding on where I'm coming from. Cause it's easy for me to say, but for you guys that are kind of new to pond industry, you guys will have a better understanding on what I mean by all this. So stay tuned for a couple seconds and I will show you that. guys it is our final day on the project and luckily we got a little extra hands to help us out for this final push as you can see here the guys are running the autofill line to the house spigot and this little guy decided to run in the window and i was a little stunned and helping us out so hopefully it'll get back to better soon and uh we'll see <laughs> What's up everybody? It is Jack with Team Aquascape and boy do I have a treat for you. We never get to see the ponds at night with the lights on and the fire features going and this project definitely paid off for it. We have this awesome fire feature right here. I'm keeping my hands nice and warm. I've been in the ice cold water for the last hour trying to fix some things up and get all the detail work. And come on, let me take you for a tour. Let's start over here. I just gotta say this project, yes, it took a little bit longer than we anticipated, but the details definitely paid off for it. In this corner here, we have our skimmer 1000 and our pondless vault that has our two to four pump and our compact auto fill valve. Everything is ran inside the liner. We're running three jets off of a two to four aqua surge pump. And our skimmer net feeds a three inch line with a four to seven pump on this. Yes, it is only a four to seven pump on this feature and it is creating an impact. We have all the bells and whistles on this. We have five three watt lights and five pathway lights and one waterfall light up in our waterfalls. Come on, Jack. I have Jack behind the camera filming for me and let's just take a tour. Let's just show everybody what we have to work with. So the guys did an amazing job. We had Marty out here. We had Devin and we had Braulio all from Outdoor Living Scapes out in Arkansas. So they did an amazing job on buttoning this thing up. We build ponds. We're not hardscapers. And they did a terrific job just doing all the cuts and making this pond look like it's been here ever since before the house and the patio were here. As you come over here, we have this awesome brick wall that we did. We did a formal edge. Normally we do a live edge patio. When I say a live edge, usually it's a piece of flagstone or a piece of flagging that we like to use over that but this time we did pavers it really pronounces this edge that turns out awesome you look straight down and you're gonna be going two feet straight down this pond is three feet deep you can't really see right now but right in this section here is a three foot deep section almost a foot off that wall so it's a nice drop off and it's a nice depth in this pond it's there's a lot of volume in this pond a couple thousand gallons but as we continue on we have our three giant steppers leading you to that other side of the yard which turned out awesome like i said earlier originally we were going to be doing five steppers and we decided to only go with three because we wanted to choke it down to have a really good push of water, which you can see right here. I mean, there's no leaves down in that cove area. It is pushing all that leaf and debris back in our skimmer and pondless vault, sitting back where we showed you earlier. As we come on over, you can see we have two 6,000 biofalls feeding this feature. It is fed off of two ball valves sitting back in that corner all the way over there so we can adjust the flow if we want more water going to the left side or the right side. We did it, guys. I'm smiling because I never get to see the features lit up at night, and finally, I can see these things lit up at night. I wish the water was a little bit clearer 
here. I know earlier when we got here, the water was crystal clear. It is a day since we've been, since we've actually finished. We had to come out here. We had to do some final touches and everything like that, but this pond cleared up pretty quick and it turned out inside. Detail work is just awesome. Hopefully in the springtime, maybe we can get back out here. If we're doing the clean out, we can get back out here and do some beauty shots of this thing all clear up and hopefully we'll have the landscaping in. There is still a little bit of thing that, that the homeowners have to do. They want to landscape everything. They need to get the electrician out here and they need to get the sprinkler guys because earlier in the video, you guys saw that we hit the main sprinkler line. So you'll see there, there's two lines back behind the right bio falls. That's where the main irrigation line is at. It is underneath that bio falls and the wires we hit and force. So we don't know how to do that because like I said, we are pond builders. We are not irrigation guys. So they have to come out and they have to redo that. I think that's everything. I think I nailed everything. If not, you guys have probably have seen it in our videos before. And if you haven't seen anything or you guys want to be more educated on a certain topic, please check out our previous videos because if we haven't discussed it in this video, we've discussed it in other videos. So it's starting to rain guys. So we're going to try to make this quick. If you guys haven't, please like, comment, and subscribe and please share this video. We want to show you guys on how to do these things and hopefully one day you guys will be able to have us out on your job or possibly you guys are going to want to do it yourself. It's Friday for us. Hope you guys have a good weekend and please stay tuned. It is Jack with Team Aquascape signing out. Thank you.